Hi everyone! For this video I just wanted to show you how I am keeping the pictures of my baby girls. When I say baby girls I mean my rats because I actually have a real baby girl as well but I mean my rat baby girls um, and I'm keeping their, their pictures in a book that I made on a website. It was called Photobox and you can make just photo albums there and the way that I did it is I made a book and instead of making it as if it was uh, just a photo album with pictures here and there and just a description, I made it into um, a story as if it's told by the girls that I had at the time when I made this book, which is Poppy, Misty, Trixie and Lucy. I didn't have Misty at the time, which is why she's not included. But as you can see, I made a title for the book and it's called The Wonderful Life of Four Sweet Little Rats as told by Poppy, Misty, Trixie and Lucy. And then on the front cover I put this nice picture of Poppy and Misty when they were babies. This is actually in the smallest size Sputnik that they're sitting in the little baby cage that I made a tour on um, as one of my previous videos. So I thought this was really cute so that's why I made this as the cover. And then on the spine of the book you can see as well the title, The Wonderful Life of Four Sweet Little Rats. And then on the back of the book I have another picture, which is again Poppy and Misty. Actually, I probably should have put a picture there of Trixie and Lucy because it's a book about the four of them. But I don't know, because I had more pictures of Poppy and Misty um, and I had used most of Trixie and Lucy's pictures inside the book. Um, I decided to put this one on the back and normally this uh, book had like the photo box logo on the bottom but if you paid a little bit extra you could have it removed and that's what I did to make it look as if it was more a real book. So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because as you can see it's quite um, long, it's a long story that I made. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through a few things, just the pages that I personally like the most and that I am most proud of writing because I do, I like to write uh, little stories and just little texts so um, that's why I made it. So I will show you. I open it up and it starts out at the very beginning. So you can see it's Poppy and Poppy says, hello there, my name is Poppy. My name might sound familiar to you as I am a world famous supermodel but no matter how big a success I became later on in life, I did start out as a baby. This is a little picture of me when my new mommy and daddy had just brought me home. <laughs> I love this picture. So, and then I will go on. Here you can see two pictures of Poppy again. And Poppy says, As I already knew my goal in life, to become a supermodel, I started my, be my beauty regime from a very young age. I cleaned myself very regularly so that I would always look tip-top. But despite my burning desire to become a big star, you shouldn't forget that I was still a little baby who had only just arrived in a new strange home, so a bit of exploring was absolutely necessary. Look at her little ears. <laughs> and then here Poppy goes on. I checked in every nook and cranny to make sure all was safe. I even checked between my daddy's legs. Danger could be lurking everywhere. At the time when I was writing this, I have to admit, I thought this was hilarious. <laughs> so, here is Misty. And Misty says, Hi everyone, I am Misty. Pippi has the... Poppy has the... Pippi, what am I saying? Poppy has done an awfully good job so far introducing herself. I really hope I can do just as good. Of course I'm not a famous model or anything, but my mummy has told me that I've got the most beautiful ears ever, and that makes me very happy. I don't think my mummy ever lies. <laughs> Here she is. She was so small. She changed a lot when she got uh, bigger. Bigger, literally. <laughs> and grayer. Here she is. I quickly realized that I was just as good at climbing as Poppy was at modeling. She really was. But all that climbing and exploring did make me tired. 
So when my mommy and daddy insisted on taking a picture of me wrapped in a nice soft towel, I didn't resist. And here she is. I actually have this picture framed as well in my living room because I love it so much. It goes on. When we first started living in our new home, we always had to sleep on the floor. But then one day, Mommy surprised us with a shiny new hanging bed. We had never seen anything like it before, but we instantly knew we loved it. Misty was completely blown away by it. She couldn't believe her eyes. The doorway was big enough to fit her ears, and she could finally sleep high up in the sky as she always wanted. I had never seen her this happy. Ever since that day, Misty never stopped using it. Even today, it's still Misty's favorite bed. Just look how happy she is in these pictures. This was obviously told by Poppy. And then here I put just like um, a few pictures of Misty in her little ball. I love this picture because you can see her little ears sticking up the way she was laying there, chilling in her ball. <laughs> I go on, skipping a few pages. And here, Mommy and Daddy often treat us to new soft beds. That day, they had given us this new pink thing. This is the fluff bum that you have seen in several of my videos. I like this picture a lot. It instantly became Poppy's new favorite bed. She even improved it by creating an extra entry hole. That was very smart of her. Poppy is very smart though. She came up with a new look called Blue Steel all by herself. She was so angry when Ben Stiller stole her look and used this for his movie Zoolander. They are no longer friends. This I thought was so funny. If you compare their faces, isn't it the same? Look, look at, look at her mouth. The mouth, the shape of the face. I think it's just Poppy who's doing Blue Steel. It's so clear. <laughs> And here we have Trixie. She says, Hi everyone, my name is Trixie. I'm a very playful baby and I get on with everybody. The picture that you see on your left was taken on the actual day that I came to live here. Aren't I cute? Yes, Trixie, you are. <laughs> I was super excited to meet the others. I couldn't wait to play with them, but they didn't want to know me at first. That made me sad. But my new mommy and daddy did love me right from the start. I paid close attention when they showed me all that I could destroy. Look at her face. <laughs> we go on and here, enter Lucy. And Lucy says, Hi there, I'm Lucy. Please do remember my face, as you might just be looking at the next ruler of the world. I started out very shy though, and I was very happy to be reunited with my sister Trixie. I missed her a lot. Here she is. And then she says, My new mommy did help me feel comfortable right from the start. She let me explore her fluffy pink bathrobe. I checked in there for monsters, and luckily there weren't any. I was safe. And Lucy, uh, Trixie says, Lucy and I were very happy. We were just a little sad that Poppy and Misty didn't want to hang out with us. So Mummy and Daddy had given us our very own house to stay in with this amazing round bed. Trixie was just using her little food bowl as a bed. She was sleeping in it. That was so adorable. And here they are, Trixie and Misty. And then they say, but a little while later, the four of us became friends at last. Poppy and Misty finally liked us. I was so happy. We're all best friends now, the four Mouseketeers. Just look at Lucy shouting out how happy she is. She's actually yawning in this picture. Here she is with, with Poppy. And then Lucy says, yes, it's true, Trixie. I was very happy because now I could finally show the others what a great boss I would make and how strong I am. Look at me, pinning Misty to the ground with ease. 
I'm so much stronger than everybody else. I'm a lot stronger than Daddy, too. I take his food when I feel like it. I don't do that too often, though, because I love Daddy. And I don't need anyone to give me my treats, either. I just take them myself. If that doesn't show that I'm the boss, then I don't know what does. And then it goes on, and they talk about their adventures. And at the very end, they say... So as you can see, we're all very happy together, and at the end of each day, we always fall asleep with a smile, knowing that we have a wonderful life. And then they say, This is our story that we wanted to share with you. Thank you very much for reading it. We worked very hard to put together all our nicest pictures, so we do hope you liked it. Thank you very much, Mommy and Daddy, for giving us such a wonderful life. We love you very much. And now it's playtime. Much love, Poppy, Misty, Trixie and Lucy. And then I ended the book with four uh, pictures. So here we have little Poppy, my poor baby. She's so beautiful. And my gorgeous baby, Misty, with her gorgeous ears. And then of course, little Trixie, the violent groomer. <laughs> And Lucy, the ruler of the universe. So, um, and this is how the book ends. So this is what I did. I just quickly wanted to show you uh, in case it might give you an idea of how you can keep your own uh, pictures in a way that's a little different than just keeping them in a regular standard photo album. So um, I hope you liked watching this and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.